Hi everyone, welcome back. Happy you're here. Today I wanted to talk about losing weight and how I lost weight and what I did to lose weight. So let me backtrack a little bit. Um, over the last year and a half I gained, hmm, I guess, about 13 to 15 pounds. Also, the big, big thing was I really didn't take accountability as how much I was eating. It just crept up on me. I mean, I knew I knew I was getting fat, like the scale said I was getting fat, uh, my clothes was fitting tight, uh, but I just kind of was like, um, everyone was like, oh, you're just getting a bunch of muscle because I worked out all the time, even though I didn't lift weights heavy like I have been lately. Um, but I did work out all the time. It took me two months to lose this weight. Two months ago, I went out with a couple of friends. We went out in couples and... Um, you know, I was already still trying to lose weight, thinking I was okay, and I was tagged in a photo on Facebook, and um, oh my god. That morning when I woke up, I saw the picture, and I was like, who is that? Like, let me look at it again. And it was me, and I didn't even recognize myself. I, I'm going to insert a picture, maybe here, um, so you can see the difference. Like, I you know, have always pretty much been the same way and then I like, kind of like blew up this time. Um, so, though in the picture I'm carrying my purse and my coats over and I look a little bit bigger maybe than I really am, but um, I really didn't recognize myself and I was like, oh my god, I'm just, for me, I'm big. And I found this new way of eating and I want to share that with you. It's called um, If It Fits Your Macros or Flexible Dieting. I, I also um, did some carb cycling because I really only, didn't have so much weight to lose and and that benefited me. And if you want a video on carb cycling and what exactly I did and how I did it, just leave a comment below and I'll make a video on carb cycling or, or how I carb cycled. Um, like I've told you before, I'm not um, professionally trained. I'm just sharing what works for me and how I lost um my scariest for my scariest weight I've lost 13 pounds so let me tell you about what you need for if it fits your macros so the first thing you need is you really want to have to lose weight um for me it was that picture that I told you about that I saw and, and I untagged immediately from Facebook let me tell you. But I actually saved it as my screensaver on my phone. I'm not lying to you. I looked at it all the time. And some people might save like other pictures on their phone that might motivate them, like healthy people or fit bodies. But I saved that as my screensaver to remind me that I never wanted to look like that or feel like that again. Um, secondly, I recommend getting a scale. And I'm going to show you the one that I use. Um, it's kind of dirty. So this is it. I bought it at Target. It, it was probably like $30. The third thing that you're going to need is a food scale. And uh, I bought this one at Target as well. I, you're going to weigh all your food. I know it sounds like a lot of work. And it is. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a lot of work. But if you want to lose weight, this is what you have to do. Um, just commit to it. So I still weigh my food. The next thing that you're going to need is an app called MyFitnessPal. Um, this will allow you to track all your food intake and all your exercise. It's free. Um, a lot of people use it, I know, and you'll be able to enter your numbers in there. And it's a great tool to calculate. I mean, you don't even realize how much you eat. I don't know. Well, I... Let me speak for myself. Um, I didn't realize how much I ate until I started really entering my food in there. And like I've said before, I'm not a professional. Uh, if you have the money, you can hire a macros coach. I know um, there's a lot of people that can help you calculate macros and stay on track. And what I really like about this diet is it it's different for every person. So you're gonna you'll see in a minute when we go kind of go through it or explain it. Um, but you can hire a coach and they can help you. Um, that's something that maybe I want to do in the future right now. I feel like I've been seeing results just kind of doing it on my own. And so until I hit a big plateau, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep doing it on my own. So we're going to go to the, the website. It 
it is, but I'll also link it below so you can click on there. Okay, so basically what it is, the macros, is how many proteins, carbs, and fats you can eat in a day. Um, this will calculate your macros for you and what you should eat. So, And it kind of explains it in, in the website as well. Basically, it'll give you your output. Then you're going to go into My Fitness Pal and you're going to load your information. So you're going to put how much you weigh, how many pounds per week you're going to, you know, want to lose. I would say two would be safe. My Fitness Pal, you have to go into um, the goals. So more, no, no, home. Let me go back. More, and then you go into the goals tab. And there, that's where you're going to put your weight, your goal weight, your weekly goal, how much you want to lose, your activity level, um, and then you're going to put your macros in. Actually, when you calculate it on the, the calculator, the link, it'll give you how many calories you can have per day. So you'll put those in and then just kind of mess with the percentages on MyFitnessPal to give you how many grams of each you can have fat. I will say that some people go extreme and they think they can eat Pop-Tarts and like Captain Crunch cereal all the time. I don't do that. I pretty much still eat healthy. Um, I would say 80% of the time I eat, you know, salads, um, fish, well, I don't eat a lot of fish, but chicken, lean meats, uh, vegetables, um, but I still have that 20% where I make three pieces of pizza fit. Fit, blah, blah, three pieces of pizza fit into my diet or um, you know a margarita or what have you let me tell you I do not feel deprived with this um, you know if I want I love cupcakes so I eat a, like a cupcake a week so there I mean if you can eat a cupcake a week you can eat a donut a week whatever your thing to eat is you can eat um, you can almost have a treat every night so the next thing that I would want to do is film like a full day of eating and if you guys are interested in that just comment below and I can do a full day of eating uh, what I eat in a whole day um, you know and I'd be happy to do that I I love you know helping people so I'm just saying this is very helpful I hope you like the video I also I'm gonna make some protein cookies later um, that I'm gonna share with you and I'll give you the macros how I make these protein cookies and they're really yummy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, hopefully you like it. And don't forget to subscribe below. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying watching them and you stick with me through my journey. Uh, I have a lot to share with you and I'm super excited. So, um, mwah! Yummy. Okay, this is a taste test. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, really good. You can't even tell it's healthy. <laughs> They're really coconutty, and I didn't even know coconut like you could make flour out of coconuts. Mm -mm. They're really tasty. Yay! And there's chocolate. Like and there's chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> white chocolate. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, girl. Oh, so good. I love this. <laughs> I have like chocolate melted. <laughs> That's when you know the cookie's good when there's yeah. like actually like melted inside. Mm.